Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how to prepare this kind of highly customized and beautiful light box portrait. Something that you can give as a gift to your loved ones and your friends. So guys, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to make this light box portrait is a layer template. As you can see that I already have created a layer template and separate layers for uh, each layer of this portrait and I have prepared this template in Inkscape. Uh, I already have a video on my channel on how to prepare layered portrait in Inkscape. So you can refer to that video on my channel. Once you have the template, then you need to select the kind of paper on which you want to cut the layers since this is a light box. So as usual, I prepare all my light box on 300 GSM paper. And for this also, I have chosen 300 GSM watercolor paper to cut all the layers. For doing the cutting, I am utilizing Olfa paper cutting knife uh, as this is a thick paper and I need better precision control. So I am using Olfa knife with a shorter blade. The process of cutting is very straightforward. Only few tips that cut all the isolated areas first. On all the templates, we have to remove all the white areas and uh, keep all the shaded or gray areas because that's how the template uh, gets created in the Inkscape. So it's very easy. There is no confusion. Just remove all the white areas. And if there are any isolated black portions or shaded portion, then you can cut them out separately and paste it back on the layer. And I'll show you how to do that uh, for the layer number third. Uh, right now, the layer that I'm cutting is layer number two because layer number one is plain piece of paper without any cuts on it. So that's act as a buffer layer uh, or the background layer. And then we have the uh, layer number two. Uh, since this is a thick paper, so cutting is going to be slightly difficult. So you have to be careful. Otherwise, you are going to break blades quite often. In fact, uh, I created this entire portrait in a span of five to seven hours uh, in a single stretch. And I broke at least seven to ten blades during this entire process, primarily because the paper is so thick. And the watercolor paper especially is very hard also as compared to other craft papers. So it's a little difficult to cut, but the final results of light box come far better in a 300 GSM watercolor paper than any other kind of paper. Also, this paper is slightly textured and has off-white sheen to it. So the final effect looks far better on this kind of paper. So here I'm done with the cutting the layer number two. I have removed all the required portions. The top white corner I have not removed because that is supposed to be part of the background. So I have not removed that. Also, you can see that there are two black lines on right and left side. And similarly, there is a buffer area at top and bottom also. This is the border buffer that I have created in PowerPoint after I had created the template in Inkscape. And I have shown this technique in quite a few videos on Lightbox on how to prepare the layers, how to create the buffer border, etc. So you can refer to those videos on how to do that in PowerPoint. Now, this particular uh, Lightbox or port Lightbox portrait that I'm creating is actually not A4 or A3. This is a square shaped Lightbox and the size of the Lightbox is 25 by 25 centimeter, but the actual Lightbox area will only be 20 by 20 centimeter. So the actual design where I have done the cutting is 20 by 20 and with buffer border it is 21 by 21 centimeter. So that was the measurements that I have utilized. Uh, you, when you see the frame at the end, you will understand that why I have taken such measurements because my frame is pretty square in nature. So uh, in the same fashion, I will also cut layer number three and then I will show you how to assemble the first three layers and will follow the same process for the remaining layers also. So here we are with the first three layers. The topmost is layer number three, then layer number two, and then the buffer uh, background layer that is layer number one. Now, uh, I have already created a lightbox portrait video on my channel before also, but in that particular lightbox portrait, there was gap between the layers. So I had to use the acetate sheets to mount the isolated pieces. But in this particular lightbox portrait, we are not hosting any gaps between the layers. So I can easily just paste the layers on top of each other and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll simply apply glue at various places throughout the uh, layer on the back side of the layer and then simply paste that layer on top of the previous layer. So I'm going to paste the layer number two on top of the layer number one. And in the same fashion, I'm going to do it for the layer number three also, except for one isolated piece, uh, which I'll show you how to do. 
For isolated pieces, for the exact placement of it, utilize the part of the template that from which you have cut the piece. Place it properly on the layered art that you are making and then apply the glue on the empty space where you have cut the piece and then gently place that piece into that applied glue area and remove the template without disturbing the piece. So that's how you connect the isolated pieces on a layered portrait. In a similar fashion, stick all the layers on top of each other and that's what I have got after I have connected all the 8 layers or after I have pasted all the 8 layers on top of each other. And now it's time to frame this into the light box. So guys, let's get to that part now. So for the mounting of my artwork, I'm going to utilize the Senehead light box frame that I have got from IKEA. This is a 25 by 25 centimeter frame and you can purchase it from the IKEA website. It's readily available on their website. There are many elements to the frame. So there is the back closure which you need to uh, remove from the back side before you can mount your art. So open your picture frame from the back, uh, remove that uh, back closure of the frame and then you will find a uh, inner paper mount which is utilized to give border to your artwork so we will utilize it in a different way but uh, we are not going to utilize it as it is as you can see that the center portion is very small so we are going to enlarge it to make it 20 by 20 then there is the acrylic uh, frame uh, or the acrylic sheet which is currently at the back of the frame and finally there is this inner frame so we will be utilizing all the elements of the frame we are not going to waste any element of the frame so the first thing that you need to do is to put the acrylic sheet back at the bottom because we need it at the front and then we will put the artwork then we'll put the inner frame back again and then we'll close the uh, light box from the back side so first let's do the assembly of the light work on the back closure of the frame and then we will come back to assemble the portrait inside the frame and this is here a preview of how this lightbox portrait is going to look like after I have assembled the lights. This is against the light inside my house. So it's going to come far better when I put it against the actual light inside the lightbox frame. We will assemble the light on the inside of the back closure of the frame. And uh, for that I am going to utilize this multi strip LED. So this particular LED strip comes in multiple parts and each part is connected with the wires and each single part contains three LEDs. So I am going to place five lines of two two strips on the inside of the frame and it comes with a double sticky tape at the back so you can simply you know stick these lights directly onto the frame so you don't need to put any extra uh, double sticky tape to stick it but if you want to be more sure that it does not come out you can put another layer of double sticky tape and then put these lights on top of it but uh, for now i'm simply just sticking the lights onto the frame so as i said it's going to be five layers and each layer will contain two of these uh, three three pairs uh, leds and that is going to light the light box from the back of the frame Now the inner paper mount that you saw earlier, I have created a bigger hole inside it to accommodate for the size of my light box. I had something else in mind but it did not come out exactly as I wanted. Maybe I needed the smaller design to utilize the frame, the inner, inner paper mount better but it's okay. Anyway, so what I have done is that I have taken measurements and created this 20 by 20 square on the inner paper mount and I am going to stick my layers the eight layers that are already together I'm going to utilize Fevicol and then I'm going to stick this on the back of this paper mount so that it remains in place and does not move finally I've created two holes to take the wires out so that I can connect it to an adapter or you can bring the adapter wire inside and uh, put tape around it so that it does not short circuit it's up to you whether you want to keep it outside or inside normally when I do commissions I bring the adapter wire inside and connect it to the LED so that it does not look ugly or awkward uh, on the outside since this is a commission work but since this is this one I'm making for my own purposes so right now I have taken the wire outside and 
uh, here is the adapter that's a 12 volt 1.5 led adapter 1.5 ampere adapter that i'm going to utilize to light up these leds finally uh, now it's time to uh, assemble all the pieces together and see how it works out the acrylic sheet that comes with the frame has a protective covering on both sides so the first thing that you need to do is to remove the protective covering from the acrylic sheet on the inside on the outside you can just simply remove it slightly from a corner and let it let the person who is going to receive uh, the gift can remove it later also it's easy to remove even if the frame is closed so i'm simply going to remove it on the inside so that i can do the placement of my artwork so once i have removed it i'll put the acrylic sheet back inside the frame on the very front uh, when the frame comes to you when you buy the frame it the sheet is always at the back side but you have to put it at the very front because you want to create that distance between the artwork and the light otherwise there are chances that it might uh, you know get burned or it might cause some damage to the artwork then place the artwork upside down so that it is visible from the front obviously no brainer there uh, once you have put the artwork next comes that inner frame to keep that artwork into place so that it does not move when you move the frame this will keep all the things in place and finally you just uh, close the frame the entire frame with the help of the back closure where you have already assembled the light uh, since you have already created holes to take the wires out it's not going to obstruct the closing of the frame but otherwise a lot of people simply take the wire from the side but it kind of creates a hindrance in the closing of the frame also and once everything is done now it's time to light it up and see how it looks and guys that's how it finally looks after putting the lights on and closing the lights of the room so that i can see it in the darkness and as you can see that it has come out really beautiful and beyond my expectations i did couple of commission works earlier but i could not post them on the instagram so i have created this particular one with a lot many number of layers so i hope you guys like this tutorial on how to prepare a light box portrait if you guys found this video interesting and liked it then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also to subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and other forms of arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye